Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I'll be your host, Zykreon. Before we go to Turtle Rock, there's something that we can get over here to the left. So, if we go and lift this rock up, we can find a secret passage. Alright. Well, this looks like a little puzzle, so let's, uh, let's get our hook shot out. This one's going to be a little tricky. Right. <laughs> really, Link? Really? Uh. Oh, guys, we are getting pretty close to the end of the game here. I mean, we gotta just go print, say Princess Zelda, go kick Ganon's butt, and uh, then uh, we're good to go. So, uh, the next LP I'm gonna be doing is a little side. I mean, I'm, I, I do the main LP so quick most of the time that I don't really have a side LP. But I will be doing UN Squadron, and so I'm guessing to finish this in probably a day or two, and then I'll start that up. That won't take long, but uh, I'm still trying to think about what I want for uh, my next LP. I know that uh, there was a suggestion for a Final Fantasy game, and I'd have to think about that. There would be a lot of video editing, because I definitely don't want to show you guys all of... Uh, all of the battles, because, my God, that would be boring as hell for all of you. Really, Link? Really? Just so you guys know, the reason I used uh, Ether there is because it would show me the pathway. So, now I have to try to remember the pathway. But, uh, yeah, we got it on the second try, so uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Um, so, yeah, I, I might do Final Fantasy 2. Well, it was, it was Final Fantasy 2 for in America, but it was actually Final Fantasy IV in Japan. So, uh, I haven't decided. I might, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do another Super NES game or if it'll be a Nintendo. Uh, but I will be spending some time to do that. Uh, let me know if there's one you guys would like to see. I definitely take all of your uh, I take into consideration everyone's input, so we'll see how that goes. All right, more fairies. Man, we got a big fairy, we got little fairies. Come in, fairies. Let's have a sexy party. It'll be a good time. Good time. All right. Well, if we exit through there, we now can get over here, and with the trusty mirror, we can now get our second-to-last piece of heart. Awesome. All right. I'm going to meet you guys back at Turtle Rock. I'm going to uh, refill my magic and get potions and such like that. So, it won't take me long at all. At least you guys won't think so, because I'll be editing it out. <laughs> Alright, like I said, we're back at Turtle Rock. And now we need the quake magic, as you see the quake symbol there. And let's see if we can't open this turtle's mouth. Turtles in a half shell! Turtle power! Alright! And with the quake spell, we can now get into Turtle Rock. Awesome. This is actually a fairly quick dungeon. For being its, you know, the last dungeon to save Princess Zelda, I was surprised. And we have a Shenanay block. Medicine of Magic? Well, I just got it, so we're good to go. Alright, so the Cane of Samaria actually has another use. If you see that there with these lines, you can use the Cane of Samaria, and you get a platform that you can ride. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. And whichever direction you're pointing is where the, the platform will go if you press it in that direction when there's kind of a junction point. Um, this room was a pain in the ass when I was a kid. It's still kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, we have to be on this platform, and we have to obviously light all the torches at the same time and uh, I don't think I did that uh, forgot about the turnaround this is gonna close before I get there son of a bitch yeah yeah I knew that was gonna happen okay well uh let's try this again folks shall we this time we'll do it on the go around all right if I point this way, lady, lady, oh, missed that one. Ah, oh, but I can get a twofer. All right. And 
Really? Really, game? I was totally not pointing that way. Why do you hate me? Alright, folks, well, we're gonna do this a third time, because third time is the charm, right? At least, I think so. Ah. Uh, jeez. So, in the Dungeon 5 video, my girlfriend pointed out that the things that I were calling ducks were probably penguins. So, I guess I should have been calling them Senor Penguinos, instead of the Mighty Ducks, but I thought the Mighty Ducks were, would be more interesting. So, maybe if I ever do this again, I'll call them Penguins to make her happy. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, and in here we get the map and a key, and we have this new rolling trap. It is a pain in the ass. It's actually not that bad. Could be a lot worse. I've noticed that I don't have any balls flying at my face like I did uh, in the first three dungeons. I guess uh, I guess the developers didn't want Link to have a complex by the end of this game and have to go to therapy afterwards. <clears throat> All right. Uh, before I use the key over here, let's see. I think these pots actually have some magic for me. Yeah. Let's see. There's another pot. I just said so hard. That's okay. That's okay. And I don't think there's anything over there. That th Right down there, that's actually the compass, guys. Uh, there's nothing else in there but the compass. Like I said, though, I'm not here to get every map and compass, show you every room. I'm here to beat the goddamn game. So, let's see if we get another key. So, if you guys are perfectionist and want everything, you guys go ahead and do it. I told you where it is. And why are there chomps in this game? This isn't Mario. This is this is Link. This is the Legend of Zelda. All right. So we get our key here, and we can move on. And you can't kill them. They're literally traps. They're pains in the ass. Uh, there's not much you can do with them. <laughs> All right. Well, this is new to the Zelda series. We have this kind of pipeline going through. And Link is actually going to travel through the pipe. Freaking, I don't even know what the hell those things are. I, I don't know what to call them. Freaking slime stacked on top of each other. And so Link can go through those, uh, those little tubes there. And, ooh, there's two tubes. Well, let's go through this one first. Yeah, we'll go through this one first. Alright, oh, jeez, those do not look like fun. Alright, I'm going to stay away from that. Alright, let's change this. Let's hit the slime thing. And, uh, son of a bitch, energizer. What the hell is that thing? Holy hell. Crazy laser thing of doom. No. Ooh, fairy. Fairy. Woo, needed those hearts. Alright, where the hell did slime go? Alright, woo. And we get a key. Alright. Let's see. Can I block the laser? Let's find out. And eh, we'll try to sneak by. Nope, I cannot block lasers. Hmm. If only there was a way that my shield could block lasers. Alright, what's in here? Ooh, the big key! Well, that wasn't hard to find. Much easier than Dungeon 5's big key. Alright, we have to go back through here. And we get more magic. I. I you know, they keep giving magic, but my god, it's not like I'm using a ton of it. Maybe I'm not doing something I'm supposed to be doing, but I've never, <laughs> never had an issue with magic, really. Alright. Oh god, when I was a kid, this dungeon was the biggest pain in the ass. We could never figure out which tube to go through, and it was just, it was no bueno. No bueno at all. I mean, my, I used to play video games with my mother a lot. And so we would play this, and we would take turns controlling Link, and I, I just remember that it was just it was so frustrating trying to get through this dungeon, because I didn't know where the hell I was going. Alright. Oh, well, there's a treasure, but I can't get there yet. And, oh my god, those are lots of laser eye things. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh my god. Ow. Oh, looks like I found a little spot to hide. Excellent. Alright. Let's see where this leads. 
It leads to the treasure! Alright, well, let's get the cane of Samaria out here. And what do we get? The mirror shield! Now we can reflect beams. Excellent! This is the strongest shield in the game, and it pretty much hides Link. <clears throat> Alright, so if I go back out here and I use the mirror, and if we go back to the light world, just take a little detour from the uh, from the game, we can actually go through here. Alright, well, I can't hit you yet, so let's take my arrows. I love the silver arrows. I love the, the just the UI of it. It's freaking awesome. Oh, can't shoot an arrow over the whack-a-mole. So we'll just whack and then kill you all. And I like the sound, so I'm going to whack them all. All right. And in here we get the final piece of heart. All right, folks. I have now shown you every piece of heart in the game. And all we have is one heart left to get, and we'll get that with the last dungeon. <clears throat> All right, so now that we accomplished that, we can continue through the dungeon. All right, let's get back to my King of Samaria, make a little platform, do the little walkie walk. All right. Oh, jeez. This trap's easy to avoid. Big key. All right. And let's go through this tube. All right. This dungeon's uh, pretty straightforward. Now that I think about it, I, I really don't know how I screwed up so much as a kid. But, uh, you know, when you're 9, 10 trying to play this, or you're not, <laughs> you don't think as logically as I do at the age of 25, so it's uh, it's definitely awesome. Yeah, there's nothing really in that room, only a, it's a way to get back if you screw something up, or if you go into to a different room. Alright, well, we need to get this chest here, because it has a key. And we'll just do this, and ow. Right. Firefox, be good. My cat it always tries to sit on the back of my chair while I'm recording and doing commentary. I think she wants to be a guest speaker. <clears throat> Alright, so this room, we have to find a uh, a switch in order to... And there it is. It's over there. We have to get over there. This is where being able to control this platform comes in handy. I used to use so many potions of health in this room because I never knew where I was going and I was always getting hit by the fire and it was horrible but boom look at this I already found the switch and I can easily just hit that and now the door that it opened is over to the bottom left and I, I'm like wow after, after I played this a, a little while ago before I started LP I was like wow I can't believe how much easier this dungeon is and I'm like wow look at this this room literally used to take me 15 minutes. Oh god, this is a little room of laser death. Huh, but we don't have a key, so we can't go through there yet. Oh god, more. Uh, things that are in those chest guys are like rupees and, and arrows and stuff like that. And my cat just slid all over my desk. What are you doing, you crazy girl? Alright, let's see what's down here. Uh, nothing. Okay. Oh, this guy's back. Really? Really? This is why I hate those. Well, let's put this mirror, mirror uh, shield to use and get the key. Unfortunately, we don't, <laughs> we don't throw the shield over our shoulder to block our back, so I get hit. But, yeah, it's okay. And with the final sword, we can take that guy out easily with one hit. And with the key, we can go through here. All right. Now, this is, this is just a little puzzle maze. It's really not that, that hard. You're just hitting the switches. Eh, I don't want to go there. This way. I mean, I never, I don't really collect anything in this room. I guess if you want to collect everything, then you can. But I don't really care to. All right, <clears throat> and we are already up to the boss. Unfortunately, though, guys, we are out of time, and so we are going to have to do this in the next video. So, thanks for watching. Let's play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Cliffhanger Edition. This is Zykreon saying adieu.